So let's go ahead and talk about this book. Okay. This is The Red Mother from Boom Studios, a brand new series, just came out just last week. Mm -hmm. uh, both of us have read this book. This is brought to you by Jeremy Hahn, it's the writer. Mm -hmm. um, let me get your initial thoughts. So uh, when I first saw this book was coming out, there was a little preview, uh, mm -hmm. and so I did watch that, that video. And uh, so I kind of knew from the very first page of the comic when you see, because there's this apparition type figure inside of Red, I knew that that was the Red Mother. Mm -hmm. And um, so that kind of you know helped me with the rest of the story. But I, I gotta tell you that I love the pacing of this. Uh, the writing is very well done. Um, you know, uh, artwork is hit or miss with me when it comes to independent comics. Uh, I really enjoyed the artwork. I did too. I thought yeah. the artwork on this book looked awesome. I thought it was great. Um, and, you know, it, it, it didn't go full on horror. Mm -hmm. um, it gave you smatterings throughout the There's book. There's a lot to your imagination in this book. Absolutely, which I, I dig. I yeah. dig that. Um, but I think I think the best element in, in uh, well, I'll just, we'll get into the actual story as yeah. we go along here. But my initial impression of the book was I really enjoyed it. And uh, I'm on board for the, for the next one, for yeah. sure. So um, it caught me when I saw a variant cover. Uh -huh. It's actually the cover that you picked up. It's With got like this uh, close-up <laughs> face of the the girl missing the eyeballs. Like, oh, that's interesting type sure. thing. So uh, I didn't find that cover, but I found this one. Mm -hmm. Brought it home, flipped through it, started reading it. Loved it right away. Yeah, like I, like you said, the artwork in here is very good. The the flow of the story is awesome. The artwork matches the story, and I think that's very important for the story. The words on the page that match the artwork. I've read books to where it just didn't match. No. Uh, they just didn't go together. These go together very well. I would have to say, as far as my initial reaction to this book was, I'm looking forward to number two. Absolutely. It sold me right off the bat. Now, we're going to go ahead and get to some spoilers, and we'll tell you why we feel that way. But let's just go ahead and talk about the story. Yeah. So pretty much the girl, and I'm very bad with names, but she's the main character. Mm -hmm. She's with her boyfriend or whatever. Mm -hmm. They're out on a night on the town, and they're just hanging around. All of a sudden, things go dark. I mean, they don't, they're attacked, but you don't see the attack. Right. It's up to your imagination or your interpretation of what happens. Yeah. All you see is literally her boyfriend getting dragged away into the darkness. You don't see any other characters. Just like his body being, you know, like he's being pulled away into the darkness. Mm -hmm. And then she gets hit with something and basically loses an eyeball. Right. You can see this black, like, kind of ray t towards her eye. You mm -hmm. see her eyeball get taken out. And, and yeah, but uh, uh, the, the, the boyfriend getting pulled into the shadows uh, was kind of I interesting because he actually says the word mother before he's pulled in. Yeah. So... But it leaves you there, right? Yeah. Loved it. <laughs> it was it was kind of freaky. You yeah. didn't expect it. Kind of came out of nowhere. Mm. Um, and then we fast forward some more time. She wakes up in the hospital. Yep. She's pretty much been in a coma, mm. and she's talking to a, a police, I believe. Police, officer. and they're asking her some questions and stuff. And they don't know what happened to the boyfriend. He's no, they can't be found. Uh, so you don't know if he's dead or nothing like that, right? But she has a big scar over where her eye would be, and she's just kind of struggling to deal with what's going on. Uh, a little further down the story, they have a gentleman come in that fits her with, with a prosthetic. prosthetic eyeball. Mm -hmm. And my initial thought of this book, oh, she's going to go to some third market and going to go and get like this weird third eye or type thing, you know, <laughs> and she'd stick it in and she start seeing stuff. No, it just seems like it's a regular eyeball that you get from the hospital. Right. Not that that's a regular thing, but apparently it is. Right, right. Um, so she gets it and it's fitted and she gets released from the hospital and goes along her day and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, her friends check up on her. Uh, to see how she's doing, and she's struggling with coping with what happened. She mm -hmm. can't explain what happened, and they really don't reference anything else till the end of the book. And then at the end of the book, she's walking down the sidewalk. Well, well, that, I mean, she starts whenever she gets stressed. Yeah, right. She starts to get these little visions of things in red, right? Like yeah. you can see a room that it's completely hazy and red and then it'll go away and it's like, so you get this little supernatural feel at that particular point, but you're really not sure what, what that's about yet. Yes. So, and then we get to where she's down at the end of the scene. Yeah. I just want to set that up because it's like, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> 
So she's walking down the sidewalk, and all of a sudden, it just things start turning red, you mm-hmm. know, and she's really struggling. And then this character emerges that's kind of walking through the crowd of people. And it's a creepy character. It I mean, really can you is. describe it at all? It's it's kind of skeletal, but more like an apparition. Uh, it definitely has these long arms. So as it's going to the crowd, you can see the arm coming over, like it's yeah. kind of pushing people out of the way to get there. Yeah. Uh, and it it's really creepy. And so um, when when you get to that particular point, you start to realize that this is the same thing that you saw in the very first page of the book. Yeah. Right. And now she can actually see it. And that's why I was talking about the trailer because the trailer shows that picture, and uh, the end result of the trailer is is that she can see mother. Yeah. But more importantly, mother can see her. Yeah. <laughs> so. So do you think it's the eyeball that she has in there that's allowing her to see it? Because I don't think it's the eyeball. I don't think it's the eyeball either. I think yeah. it was very telling that when she lost the eyeball, it was some black like energy or ray yeah. that hit. I mean, it looked like it was like the rays of a shadow, um, but we really don't know what it was. And I think that that's setting up whatever attack them yeah. is what's affecting her now. And so she's got the ability to be able to see into that realm yeah. or whatever. I don't know. I'm on board, though. It's, it's really good. <laughs> and that's pretty much the end of the, the issue one. And I'm curious to see more about that character because, for one, it looked really creepy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And the, the, uh, the red on the panel really makes it look really creepy as well. Yeah, yeah. So it just I, I enjoy that. I like a nice horror book type thing and that's kind of what I think this is yep yep and I think that boom mm-hmm. has another hit on their hands and like we talked about last week you know some of the best publishers this year boom was right up there absolutely and they keep cranking out really good quality books they really do and they have another one on their hands absolutely you know you you had mentioned earlier that you know it's very important that the uh, art uh, matches the story Mm -hmm. and i think that in that's especially true when it comes to horror books you have to be able to set the tone to be able to have that feeling that you're getting when you're reading a good horror book right yeah and and this book does that and i think that uh you know the the um uh uh, uh, what do they call the bullpen of writers and artists that boom has are killing it. Yeah. I mean, they really have a, done a great job in doing that very thing, setting tone. And uh, this book is another example of it. Very much so. Go to your local comic shop, give it a shot. Trust me, I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you don't find it there, you can always go to Boom's website. We'll put a link down below. Check it out. It's worth your time. Appreciate you watching. <laughs>